In this episode, we are going to be talking about ways that you can rebroadcast old episodes so that you can have a break over the festive season, yet still release episodes on a consistent basis. Welcome to Podcasting Tips and Tricks with Lyndall Harris, a show sharing quick, actionable tips, tricks and advice to help you on your podcasting journey. Hello and welcome back to another show and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Lyndall Harris, I'm the host of the show and this podcast is brought to you by Podcast VA. Podcast VA offer a variety of done-for-you services as well as training to help make the podcasting journey easier. So for today's topic, I thought we would cover something that would be relevant as we come into the festive season. And a lot of podcasters like to take a break over this time, which is absolutely fine. But I thought I would give you another option if you decided that you would like to continue to release episodes over the break and still get that break over Christmas. And so we are talking about rebroadcasting or replaying old episodes. Now we know that consistency is key and we know that people do like to release their podcasts on a weekly or a fortnightly basis and keeping that consistency is a good idea. So if you would like to continue that over the festive season and if you feel that your audience will be listening to shows that are released then, then rebroadcasting can be a fantastic way to do that. Of course, you can still have a break. That is absolutely fine. Don't feel that you can't have one to two weeks off. And if you're a seasonal podcaster and you've given your audience the heads up that you're having time off, that is totally fine. Please don't feel like you need to change your strategy now. It was more if you are sort of stressed or worried about recording episodes to continue over that period. Now, I'm going to have a bit of a change in my release schedule in that I won't be releasing any interview shows over this next four or five weeks. So all of my shows will be solo episodes that I am actually batching and then releasing that way. So I don't have a big back catalogue. So if you followed the show, you know that this is episode 11. So I don't have a big catalogue to choose from to actually rebroadcast myself. But next year, when I'm in the same you know, period of time, I probably will look back at some episodes to rebroadcast over this festive season so that I'm not needing to record. But I'll make that call as it obviously it's closer to the time, but I will have that backlog of episodes to choose from. Now, which episode to choose to rebroadcast? Well, I guess that really depends on your podcast, your audience, what you do. So generally speaking, there's probably two ways that you could look at it. And one might be that it's time relevant. So for example, if you're a coach, you might want to rebroadcast an episode that's all about planning for the new year. Or perhaps another really good episode I heard recently was how that you can take a break over the festive season without closing your business. So if it's time relevant, you can re-release those types of episodes. Another might be that you go and choose your most popular episodes. And so if you have done six months, 12 months worth of episodes, go back and have a look at your statistics and pick out which were the best performing episodes because they are great ones to rebroadcast. Don't think that if people have listened to it before that they won't re-listen to it. That's the other tip there because people do re-listen to shows and particularly if you're giving advice on something that's relevant for them, they will re-listen to it. So you might see a dip in your stats if you've got an audience that listen to every single episode and don't feel that they need to re-listen, but that's okay because once again, you're still releasing something for them. And for the people, the newer people that have come into your audience since you released that episode, they might not have gone through the back catalog and listened to it. So the mechanics of actually rebroadcasting an episode, that was something I wanted to touch on because I do get questions or a lot of sort of um, looks of concern, I guess, of how do you actually do that? Now, in your host, you upload the audio file again as if it's a completely new episode. So you don't want to go back in and find it and do anything strange there. You want to upload it as, as if it's a new episode. So if this is episode 65 for you, then 
you upload it as a new episode, you upload the audio, and then in the title of the show and perhaps in the show notes section, you actually pop in there that it's a rebroadcast or a replay. So often I see the title of the show with rebroadcast at the beginning and then the title of the actual episode. So people can see quite quickly that it is a rebroadcast and you're not confusing those who have listened to every one of your episodes and they're not thinking that it is a new one. When you're looking at the actual show notes of it, then you have to consider whether you want to, you you, you sort of don't need to worry so much about the duplicate content side of things because they that's not going to be too much of an issue. But if you are putting in the SEO um, mechanics on all of your posts, then you might want to just consider that you don't want to be competing for the same keywords. So you might republish it on your as a post on your website as well, but maybe not putting in the keywords to compete with your previous post. Now, in your marketing, it's important that you share, I feel it's important that you share in your comments of your post or in your email marketing that you are resharing an old episode. And that just sort of touches back on the fact that if people have listened to all of your episodes, if you've got a really great audience or fan base that have listened to them all, you want them to realize very quickly so that you're not, how do I say it, not wasting their time, but not you're, you're being conscious of their time. And if they don't want to re-listen to an episode, they're not listening sort of, you know, 15 minutes in and thinking, I think I've heard this before. So yeah, be really upfront about the fact that you are rebroadcasting it. Some podcasters may choose to re-record an episode intro. So just something along the lines of, um, you know, in today's episode, we are actually replaying a previous episode that is all about X, Y, and Z. It's not necessary to do that. And if you uh, outright don't want to do the extra work of, of, and you just want to repurpose it, there is no requirement to do that. But I have had clients in the past who do like to record just a new little intro that can sit in and just explain to people that they are rebroadcasting and perhaps why they're rebroadcasting that one. If you want to see how it works, I would suggest that you go and look at some of your favorite podcasters or some big podcasters that have been doing it for a long time. Go into the directories like Apple Podcasts or um, Spotify and have a look there and just see how they do it there. But as I say, if you put that replay or rebroadcast at the beginning of it and then schedule it for the exact same time that your episodes usually go live, that is how you can rebroadcast your old shows. So that's it for today's episode. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can have a break from recording if you'd like to just step back from the podcast for a little while, but still release consistent episodes. If you have any questions about how this works, please feel free to reach out through my website or through any of my social media handles, or even better, head to the Australian Podcasters Collaborative Facebook group, join there, join the conversation and ask any podcasting questions that you have. It is a really fantastic, engaged group where people will answer your questions and The thing I love about it is that someone will put a question in there and all the different pieces of advice or all the different answers can be quite different and it's really nice to see the different opinions and the different ways that people do things. So if you are a Facebook user, please head into the Australian Podcasters Collaborative Facebook group. We would love to see you there. I hope you are enjoying perhaps slowing down a little bit or getting your planning hats on for 2020. Either way, I hope you are enjoying this time of year. It's such a beautiful time to see all the Christmas lights up and the Christmas decorations around the place. That's it for today. I'll speak to you next week. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed the show, make sure you subscribe in your podcatcher so you don't miss an episode. And whilst you're there, I'd love it if you'd leave me a rating and review to help other podcasters.